Tropical Storm Melissa is stalling in the Caribbean, and it could rapidly intensify into a major hurricane in just a few days. This storm needs to be watched very closely as it has the potential to cause major impacts including flooding rain and strong winds to parts of the Caribbean. In this video, I'll show you what Melissa is doing right now, the latest forecast, and where this storm could go next. But first, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more weather updates. Right now, here's a look at Tropical Storm Melissa. Not really much happening with it right now. Just a, a tropical storm, not extremely organized at this point. The latest advisory shows maximum sustained winds are at 50 miles an hour, and it's moving west-northwest at two miles per hour, really super slowly, and it's south of Haiti and Jamaica right now. Here's a look at the cone from the National Hurricane Center. We can see there is a hurricane watch in place for southern Haiti, and then we have a tropical storm watch for Jamaica. Here's where tropical storm Melissa is right now. It's actually gonna be moving to the north over the next couple days, going all the way through Saturday, it's gonna be just moving north very slowly. And this is gonna be dumping a lot of rain and also it'll be intensifying a little bit over time. But then once we get to the weekend is when it really takes off, it looks like. According to the forecast models and also reflected in the NHC forecast, it's gonna be a hurricane at around 2 p.m. on Saturday before it really takes off and goes from a category one all the way to a category four hurricane potentially going to Sunday and Monday as a major hurricane south of Jamaica. Now notice the cone is pretty big at this point. It could actually hit Jamaica directly or it could keep going west. The, the forecast models do have a lot of uncertainty in where exactly it's gonna track. Some of them take it further west than others, but at some point early next week, it's expected to turn, whether it gets as far west as potentially Nicaragua and Honduras, that's a possibility. And then it turns from there and directly hits Cuba and the Bahamas, that's possible. Or it could turn a little bit sooner and go more towards the Turks and Caicos Islands by probably around the, the middle of next week. But it's gonna be moving very slowly through the Caribbean over the next several days. If it gets close enough to land areas, the big thing is gonna be flooding rain impacts. Here's the key messages for Tropical Storm Melissa. It is forecast to meander over the central Caribbean and could potentially become a major hurricane by early next week. Interests in Jamaica, Haiti, Cuba, and the Dominican Republic are urged to continue monitoring the latest forecasts. And also because it's moving really slowly, there's that risk of a prolonged period of strong winds. That's increasing for Jamaica and Haiti. Preparations should be rushed to completion because the strong winds could start as early as late Thursday or Friday and continue increasing over the weekend going into early next week and also the heavy rainfall is a big risk for very significant flash flooding and mudslides as well so that could cause a lot of damage if this if this does get close enough to to land areas as it stalls now here's the intensity guidance the intensity is a big thing this could intensify very quickly once we get past three to four days it it, it looks like it's going to take off like some of the models bring it up to hurricane intensity in a little less than three days. If it's able to organize pretty quickly, then it's gonna take off sooner. And some of the models are bringing it up to a category five. Look at this, there's one model. This is actually wild. There is one forecast model bringing this up to 195 knots. That's 225 miles an hour. That would basically be the strongest hurricane ever in terms of sustained winds, if that were to happen. I don't think that's gonna happen, but this is a very different kind of hurricane. It's an unusual seeming hurricane, so it, it wouldn't be completely impossible. But a lot of the models are bringing it up to a category three or four hurricane, so it could be a pretty strong major hurricane. And the track uncertainty is what makes this really important to watch because it could, it could actually go further away from land areas. It could get close enough to bring tropical storm force winds and some heavy rain, or it could get really close and produce a lot more significant impacts and depending on where it really stalls like right now it's stalling out kind of over the open water now if it gets closer to land and and continues to move very very slowly it's going to dump a lot of significant rainfall now here's a look at the half a model the hurricane model showing 
showing what happens over the next uh, two to three days. We see some slow to moderate intensification going into Friday, going into Saturday. We finally see a hurricane and then this stays to the south of Jamaica, bringing tropical storm force winds to at least the southern part of the island and tropical storm force wind gusts across Jamaica. And then it continues going west. But notice what happens. This this intensifies like crazy. This goes from a category one all the way down to a category five. By the time we get into Sunday evening, we have a category five hurricane and then it continues. It doesn't just stop there. It does start moving a little bit. If it stalls and it intensifies, but it doesn't move very quickly, it's gonna start upwelling and that's gonna weaken the hurricane down, but it does start moving. And, and these are some very ex extremely warm sea surface temperatures that are very favorable for intensification. And yeah, the half say model is showing a category five hurricane also going down to 904 millibars. That would be a super rare. If this is gonna happen, that's a very significant hurricane. Now, in this scenario, it is actually further away from land areas. Now we'll have to see what happens after this point. It only goes out five days, but it could start to make that turn and end up hitting Cuba and also the Bahamas. It doesn't look like it's gonna hit Florida right now. According to the latest forecast models, Florida looks fine. They're not gonna get hit by this. At least, you know, that's what it looks like right now, but we'll have to see. Also, Here's a look at those sea surface temperatures. Tropical storm and future hurricane Melissa is going over some very warm sea surface temperatures to around 86 to 87 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And that's gonna allow for some quick intensification if it doesn't start upwelling a lot colder water temperatures. But remember this part of the Caribbean, and I've showed this before, this area actually has the highest upper ocean heat content in the entire Atlantic. This area where Melissa is going has some of the highest upper ocean heat content, not just at the sea surface, but going down several hundred feet. A lot of heat stored in, in the ocean right here. That could allow for some very significant intensification. Here's a look at the Euro Ensemble models showing what could happen over the next several days. You have some ensembles taking it more towards Haiti, some taking it towards uh, Jamaica over the next couple days, but then it, a lot of them would just really kind of meander and stall out in the Caribbean and this is going to be a problem either if it gets closer to land bring in the rain or it has more time over water to intensify rapidly is basically what we're looking at with with this storm system now notice what happens by the time we get into the weekend into early next week a lot of the models take this further west halfway between jamaica and central america and then by the time we get into the early to middle part of next week makes that sharp turn and there's actually going to be a, a trough over the over the southeastern u.s it's going to start to steer steer this out and there's going to be ridging over here basically that's going to pull hurricane melissa out across cuba potentially as a major hurricane so that could be a, a significant problem and then it pulls it out towards the open atlantic now what happens after that does it does it go towards bermuda Possibly the Euro model does take this in the general direction of Bermuda. We'll have to see if it does it make any turns after that. Like, you know, we'll see what happens there because this kind of is similar in one way to Hurricane Matthew in terms of the, the location that it started and then also the rapid intensification that happened. And then also Hurricane Sandy is a little bit similar too in the area it started. So these later season storm systems can actually do some some pretty wild things in terms of in terms of the unusual track or changes in intensity so that's that's going to be something to watch now here's the euro model showing a lot of heavy rain across haiti and the dominican republic and jamaica over the next few days even going into the weekend as the euro model shows hurricane melissa passing very close just to the south of Jamaica on Saturday into Sunday, and it's just staying there, bringing you heavy rain and very strong winds. So that's gonna be a significant thing. Then after, as we go into the, the late weekend, into early next week, on Monday, we have it rapidly intensifying all the way down to a, a very powerful storm system. Then it turns and this goes over Jamaica. So this is gonna be a problem. If, if 
the Euro model is right, there's going to be significant damage, uh, a lot of flooding, storm surge, and destructive winds happening if this were to hit Jamaica as a major hurricane. But this is this is one forecast model. It doesn't mean it's going to happen like this, but then the Euro model does intensify it down to a category five, most likely 923 millibar hurricane before it slams into Cuba on Wednesday, October 29th. Then it moves out into the open Atlantic and becomes more of an extra tropical storm system. It goes over Bermuda. It directly makes landfall in Bermuda before moving out into the open Atlantic. And then that's pretty much it for the tropical activity. Now the AI Euro model is showing something similar. It's showing that slow movement, that stalling, that meandering, and then it directly hits Jamaica. And this is showing a category two, but the Euro AI model seems to underdo the intensity, but the track tends to be good. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens if, if this turns out to be true. But if, if so, this is gonna be a really bad thing for Jamaica and also Eastern Cuba and Haiti doesn't get hit quite directly, but still flooding rain is gonna be a big issue. And then the Turks and Caicos Islands also get hit before potentially Bermuda getting hit as well. The GFS model shows something completely different. It actually shows tr Tropical Storm or Hurricane Melissa hitting Haiti directly on Friday night going into Saturday, bringing really heavy rain, catastrophic flooding, across the the entire island haiti and the dominican republic getting slammed with really heavy rain and that just stalls there that's going to be really bad if this scenario happens it's going to be super bad it's still subject to change we'll have to see what what happens to this storm over the next couple days but it's it's looking like a pretty serious situation if this were to happen there could be two feet of rain there could be two feet of rain happening over Haiti and the Dominican Republic from this storm system, especially going over those mountains. It's gonna be pr producing even more rainfall. That's gonna lead to catastrophic flooding and mudslides for sure. Hopefully th that scenario doesn't happen. Now, if it goes a bit further west and does what the AI Euro model was showing, we're looking at, and this is going for over a week, nine days or so, we have Southern Haiti looking at some extreme rainfall over a foot of rain and then also parts of the Dominican Republic, but really Jamaica gets over a foot of rain, probably close to 18 inches of rain. And then Southern Southeastern Cuba also seeing the same thing. But yeah, definitely some major flooding if, if this scenario happens. Now after that, the NHC and the Climate Prediction Center are not looking at any more tropical cyclone development expected happening in, in week two or week three, because this should be going towards the end of the hurricane season. So, you know, we'll see if this is the last one or maybe there's one other storm system that, that manages to happen. But this one looks like it could be very significant and very impactful. The Caribbean has managed to avoid a lot of hurricane activity this year, really hasn't, hasn't had anything since last year, but it looks like this one could be very, very impactful and definitely something to watch really closely and, and prepare if you're in these areas. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, share the video and make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more weather updates on the tropics. Thanks for watching. Extreme Weather Zone, out.